we have got one bad Barracuda. This is a 68. Under the hood has a 440 that's bored and stroked to a 502, making five and a quarter horsepower. It's got a TCI uh, transmission, posi, disc brakes, and the quality is off the charts. Everybody's loving this car. Comes with a folder full of documentation. So why don't you join me? Let's go for a spin. You can go to volocars.com where you can look at all the pictures top to bottom and read the information. It's also where you'll find a price tag on every car along with an easy monthly payment as well. So yeah, this car is freaking awesome. Everybody's really liking it. Matter of fact, when I was pulling it in, I had four or five people gathering around it all talking highly of the car. So it has the super stock style uh, fiberglass hood on here. And although it has the four pins, it's not a lift off. It actually pull the front pins and it is on hinges. So it gives that race car look, but it is hinged. And the body and paint's amazing. This is slick, it's straight, no issues, no ripples, no shrinkage, no waves, lines up beautifully. This is amazing body and paint. It's a black mirror. I don't see any problem at all. Again, no cracking, no shrinking, no body work showing, no bubbling, absolutely straight. This is all pristine stuff. Door shuts like a new car. I love that. Lines up square and flush. This is all laser beam straight. And the paint, again, is a mirror. And you might not have noticed it has like satin black stripes. I like that. Very subtle, very cool. Uh, again, the paint, outstanding. It is a fiberglass hood, but it fits nice. It's just as square and flush as the rest of the car. It has a nice uh, textured satin finish on there with no issues. Guy spent five grand on the grills and the tail panel just by themselves, having them restored like this, like brand new. Bumpers look like they have show chrome. A little round marker light, 68 only, I believe, look like they're new. All the stainless trim looks like it's been buffed, straightened like chrome. Uh, all the glass is crystal clear. I just rolled these windows up so you can see how nice they look and look how nice they fit. And even with the windows up, shuts like a new car. Mirror looks new, the vent window frame, the rubber, the window seals, all this is in mint shape, the door handle. This big black, uh, back window, it must be new. It's crystal clear, the rubber seal is soft. Yeah, five grand on the tail panel and the grills. Bumpers, beautiful, it's all real sharp, has a little Barracuda emblem. The pop-up gas cap looks new. And just look at that, that sloped fastback body style. This car is awesome. It has the polished billet specialties wheels uh, with Mickey Thompson tires, they're 15 inch. Up front, they're probably 15 inch as well, but of course much skinnier. Also, Mickey Thompson uh, tires. Just look at that stance. Just take a second to absorb this car in. It's awesome. Uh, so now why don't we look at the inside? You're enjoying these really amazing cars we're getting through here. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon so you're notified when the next one comes in. Just look how pristine that body and paint is. So under the trunk lids painted real nice and smooth. So is the jam. The weather strip is replaced. Uh, it has a nice carpeted uh, floor with bound edges. And then underneath, you get a glimpse of how clean the metal is. This is a rust-free car. Looks to me like all the wiring and the sockets are new. And, uh, you know, if you were doing a project, you need to go to the store and get some lumber, uh, you can haul it in this car, too. This folds down because it is the fastback with the fold-down seat. I bet you can get some 2 by 4s in there. Oh, behind me is a car cover and a bag with some extra parts that'll go with it. I found more documentation as well. I mean, just everything about this car, the color, the wheels, the stance, the motor, the quality. Awesome. Door jams are painted slick. Weather strips are new and they fit real nice. The inside metal trim is painted slick. Door panel, armrest, window crank, all looks like new. 
the sill plates, even the little buttons for the interior lights are new. The dash is pristine. All the dash pad, the knobs, the surfaces, it's all like brand new. Uh, whatever's on the odometer, it's just turning like 100 miles. That's all the car has on it. Factory gauges, it's all pristine. Uh, he paid a lot for the radio. He said, try and find a radio for a 68 Barracuda. He wanted it complete, so uh, there's the radio. New glove box liner. The lower pad, this is all mint. Carpet, kick panel, it's all excellent. He did add a tachometer and oil pressure. Good idea. The center console, I would imagine, is new or restored. This is pristine also. It's a legendary interior. They're the, the premium brand. All new cushions, so it's nice and firm. All new upholstery. Again, it's all legendary. Backs of the seat. Yeah, it even says legendary on it. So like I said, the seat does fold down. It's all upholstered nice. Interior lights work. There's your back seat, also upholstered. Armrests, side panels, all of it's really nice. Headliners replaced, visors, the mirror look like new. The original deluxe wheel was restored, so that looks brand new as well. So sitting in the car, you feel like you're in a brand new 68 Cuda. Now this motor was sent out to a specialist in New York to be built. It is a 502 cubic inch, not a Chevy 502. It is a 440 engine uh, built as a 502 with 525 horsepower. Uh, it's got aluminum heads, a hot cam, roller rockers. It's been balanced. And I tell you what, pulling it in here, it just runs real nice like a, like a regular car. You just feather that gas in, it will launch you. So it's high performance, but it's it's manageable. Got a nice high rise intake with a dual feed Holly, electric choke, some headers, some nice Mopar performance valve covers, new blower motor. Look at all the components, they all look new. Look how slick this is painted. Plug wires are run neatly, alternators new, got new horns, new wiring. Aluminum radiator, the aluminum water pump. These are Edelbrock heads, flamethrower coil, billet distributor. Battery is secured properly. New master cylinder. I mean, this is this is a show quality motor compartment. Even under the hoods, finished nicely. So you're really going to enjoy this. Wish I could go with, but Caleb's going to take you for a drive. So we are taking my favorite car here currently around the block, the 68 Cuda. Guys, this thing is a beast. It's very menacing. Uh, just a very, very well put together car. Drives real nice. Now again, it is a fresh resto, uh, so we do recommend shakedown miles, right? So you're gonna drive it for a while. You do need to put it up on a lift, go through the undercarriage, tighten up suspension again. Uh, things do come loose, we call that shakedown miles. It's really nice. Uh, the trans shifts flawlessly. The steering feels really good. I love this genuine wood steering wheel. Uh, it's very comfortable to grip. Makes it easy to turn even with the manual steering. Obviously, you got the skinnies on the front, so not too big of wheels to turn. I believe the turn signals work. Yep, it lights up. Let's see if it cancels. Let's see what this beast has. Just like that, up to speed, cruising on the highway. 
Uh, now it is. It's a muscle car, guys. It's not a Cadillac. Uh, so you're gonna hear, you're gonna hear stuff rattling a little bit. You're gonna feel the bounciness. The suspension feels pretty good, though. I believe it is on adjustable shocks. I mean, it drives straight as an arrow. The alignment was done. Listen to this thing. Whew. One hell of a car. Wipers work. Uh, the lights work as well. Has flashers. Those are working. The turn signal did cancel. The horn works also. Yeah. Whew. Just instant torque. This is a muscle car for sure. Uh, the heat works really well. I have it on right now. It's a little bit colder out. Um, don't know if we tried the radio or not. The radio does not work. Uh, I did talk to the gentleman who built this car. He said that uh, he had to source the original radio. This was very hard to find. Uh, he did put it in, but he did not get it re rebuilt. Just the quality, though. The windows roll up and down very nicely. Super smooth. Just a very, very well-built car. I made sure that car cover and the extra parts are safely put in the trunk. Uh, underneath this car is beautiful. The front end, all the steering suspension looks brand new. There's only about 100 miles on the car. Uh, rear suspension was rebuilt. Has some upgraded tubular Caltrax uh, con control arms back there, traction bars. Has a nice custom exhaust with the X-pipe, Flowmaster muffler, the right tips coming out the back. Uh, disc brakes in front, drum and back, brake lines, hoses, all that looks new. E-brake is hooked up. Fuel system's new, including the tank. You look up at the motor, uh, it's still spotless. Uh, has a high torque starter. Now see what it's telling me about the hood? It has both latches, the safety latch too. And uh, it just has them hood pins in back. Matter of fact, the cameraman started taking those pins off to help me lift the hood off, and we didn't need to do that. Uh, TCI transmission, uh, all custom performance built. It has a 3400 stall tor torque converter. It's a 727 torque flight. Um, it is a TTI exhaust system that I was talking about with Flowmaster Super 44s. In back is an eight and three quarter rear end with 373 sure grip gears. The floors, the frame rails, all that is pristine metal. So again, this is one bad car. Anyone's going to be proud as heck to own it. I don't care if someone pulls up to you with a $300,000 car, you're going to hold your head up high with this one. Until you smash the gas, your head's going to go back. Go to volocars.com. Salesmen will help get this in your driveway. They'll help you get it financed. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe. Click on the bell icon. You'll be notified when the next one's posted. Thanks for watching.